Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum did rally a little bit further today and actually touched here the 61.8 retracement level at $3,665. Ethereum has not yet reached the target. Um, don't get me wrong, I mean, target, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a Fibonacci projection for the C wave within wave B. We talked about that. Um, that hasn't been reached yet. However, Bitcoin pushed high enough to enable Ethereum to maybe get there with one more for five pattern. Let's talk about it. First of all, for anybody who's new on this channel, what we are tracking here is currently a corrective structure on the ETH chart. So we have an A wave to the downside, which bottomed here in yellow wave A, which bottomed around the 20th of March a B wave corrective rally, which is likely now unfolding and ideally should reach $3,818 as a minimum, possibly higher. That's why I did say minimum. <laughs> and um, from there, a C wave to the downside could and should still start. I don't see any yeah, clear or clarity in the move in terms of that we've already bottomed in all of wave four. Of course, it's possible that this entire fourth wave bottomed. It's just not very clear in the price at the moment. Why? Because the move to the upside that started on the 20th of March and topped here on the 21st, that was not a five wave move. That was a three wave corrective rally. So it doesn't give me confidence that a low was in place. I mean, a local low, yeah, but if wave four was in place, I would have at least liked to see, you know, a five wave move up or something. But it's only a three wave move that definitely leaves the door open for lower prices eventually, but possibly only after a bit more of a um, substantial corrective rally. So the idea was we have within this B wave rally then, for which we added the standard resistance zone to the chart. Within that B wave, we can, um, we're, we're tracking an ABC structure. So the B wave unfolds as ABC and we can calculate a target range based on the length of the A wave and the length of the B wave or the low of the B wave allows us to calculate a target for wave C of B and that points towards $3,818 and $4,214 um, and ideally we get there. Okay, Ideally we get there and ideally we are finishing somewhere uh, on the, uh, at the at the higher end of that spectrum, just because in the if we really get one more low into the orange support zone, it is actually quite important for ETH that the two thousand nine hundred seventy seven dollar level isn't broken, because if it breaks, then Ether would lose its impulsive potential most likely, and yeah, we, we want to avoid that. Obviously, you know, it will get difficult. We talked about that in the first video earlier today. I will maybe do that tomorrow again, talking about the alternative scenarios if that $2,977 level is breaking. But for now, we are holding above support and we're just watching if we can extend this current B wave rally a little higher. Let's zoom into the micro. Here, the idea was that, yeah, I mean, if the C wave to the upside started on the 22nd of March, We've seen the price form a wave one and a wave two. Now possibly third wave completed. I added a support area for wave four and one more high in a wave five could send us into that target range. What is the micro support area? I've adjusted it uh, against the latest high. Micro support is between 3,434 and 3,572. As long as this range is holding one more high in wave five of C of B is currently expected. Whereas a break below 3,434, yeah, would be confirmation that a top is already in. Um, how long did the wave three turn out to be? Maybe a little bit of practice here for everybody. So we've got the wave one length. We go to the low of the wave two. In terms of Fibonacci extensions, the third wave that has now formed, uh, third wave that's formed, it reached a 1.786 extension. As you can see on the chart, well, that's okay, absolutely normal, but definitely extended enough for a wave four pullback um, 
to to basically start you know so we've seen a bit of a reaction now question is is this already is this already the way for of c maybe we've seen the price react already initially to the micro support area but it, so it looks a bit like a bull flag at the moment and the next micro support levels are 3572 and 3519 so still watching for higher prices against the support area. At least one more high would be expected. That's my update about ETH. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.